What's up, what's up, what's up, y'all? I just want to show you out a quick Photoshop tutorial on increasing your headroom if you don't have enough headroom on the photo. You know what I mean? So let's take this image right here I just did a couple days ago. And I didn't have that much room on the shot. And it's better, like, if you got a solid background, it's a lot easier to do this. So what I'm going to do is increase the headroom up top. And then I'm going to take the headroom, the, the bottom room out the bottom to make it look even. So all I'm going to do right quick is go to image right here. Then you're going to go down to canvas size. Right? That's going to pop up another window. And you see your width and your height. So now my width is good. My height is off. Uh-oh. What's this? I'm tagging me and stuff. I'm making a video. So then I'm going to change my centimeters to pixels. Right? And I'm just going to bump it up by... Uh, I'm just going to bump it up by 2,000 pixels. So that's... It's already at 6,000. So I'm just going to go ahead and make it 8,000. And what it's going to do is it's going to give me a thousand on the top, thousand on the bottom. Now I'm going to hit OK. Boom. So now you see the black top and bottom where it's going to give me some headroom to play with. So now that the background is mainly solid, see this little jibble, I'm going to get rid of that. So what I'm going to take what I have right above her head and then I'm going to select that. Uh-oh. I'm a, my selection tool over here if you can follow my mouse. So I'm just going to do the rectangle the marquee tool. Take just the sliver. Right. I'm going to take that little sliver right there across the top. But I don't want her hair in there. So right there. I think that's not enough. So let me zoom in. And then I'm just going to try it again. So I'm going to take this much right above her hair. Right. Now I got that selected. I'm going to copy it. Paste it. So now I have it in my layer group. So now I'm going to go to my edit. Scroll down to transform it. Then I'm going to scale it. So now I select it. So I just grab the top marker and drag it on up to the top like so boom all the way up to where the rest of it is ending and then I can just slide this over to the left slide a little bit over to the right overlap it a little bit then I'm going to hit enter boom I might have a little gradual line across the top but we can fix all of that later so then I'm just going to go back and then show you that I got more headroom at the top of the image. So now with that, I'm just going to go back and crop everything down to where I need it. Take off this bottom black, bottom black piece. Then I'm going to chop this down just a little bit to where my image is workable to where I want it. Right? Bring this in some and bring it down some. So I got a little bit more headroom to play with. So it don't look silly. Especially if you have a lens or you're in a short room and you want to build that back up. So then all I did was crop it. And then what I'm going to do is come over here. And then I'm going to merge these two layers together. So then I'm going to go to layer, down at the bottom, merge visible, boom. Now, I got a workable image. Take that off. And now you see, we ready to rock. Appreciate that. And then we can go in and we can pixel peep and we can see what my lines is at. So, that's just a wall. Other than that, we go to the top. It's a small line right here that I can blend out. I know y'all probably can't see it. Right here that I can blend out. 
But then that's just it. If you want some more headroom, that's what you got to do. If you mess with Photoshop on a solid background. Now, if it's like a busy background or something like that, it's going to be a little bit more work. And that's it. I love your boy. D. Leroy Photography. Boom.